Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Software Testing. It's me, Daniel. Happy that you're here today. In today's video, I would like to give you a hands-on demonstration about AI and how you can make use of AI as a software tester. I know you have seen already my videos below and before where I was talking about different tools using AI, uh, using AI technologies in order to generate test cases and to write automated scripts and stuff like that. But I bet many of you already have used ChatGPT already. And yes, you can use ChatGPT for your testing um, activities. Let's, let's frame it like this. And but one thing that I noticed is becoming more and more important when working with AI is the fact that the things that you give in the AI is so important for the AI, of course, to generate an output and to give you a good answer or a good result. And I would summarize it as garbage in, garbage out. So in case you put a bad prompt in, you will get a bad result or a not so happy result, I would say, right? And this is exactly what I would like to show you today, like what, how important it is to take your time in creating a right prompt or your, the best prompt that you can use to, to help you in your situation, in your context. And yeah, that's basically the video for today. So I'm giving you a hands-on introduction on how you can use ChatGPT as an example LLM or as an example AI system here today in this video and to showcase you what you can do with a bad prompt or what you can expect from a bad prompt and what you can expect from a much better one. So let's take a look. So as you can see here, this is the interface of ChatGPT. Sorry, it's in German. I was not able to switch it to English and show why, but that's okay. So let's, let's type a, a very first simple prompt in order to generate test cases, right? Let's assume we have a web application and that web application has a login interface, yeah? And we would like to generate test cases for it. So the obvious thing that you can enter here is uh, create test cases for a login window inside a web application. Nothing more. That's what you give in to the prompt. So you press enter and then it says, yes, sure, we can create test cases. So you have like example for valid credentials, invalid username, invalid password, empty username, empty password, and so forth and so forth. And you can see it's still generating. Let's see how many test cases uh, OpenAI or ChatGPT will generate for you. So in this case, it's 12. And just by looking at the results, yeah, they are covering some some aspects of a generic login uh, system or something that you can do with uh, with a login interface so to say but to be honest this is okayish for getting a first idea like okay what are things that i could test on that interface or on that web application but this is not like really sufficient in case you have specific needs or specific application and that's why what i meant before it's important that you take your time in order to to really uh, dive into yeah, creating a good good uh, good prompt and um, so what I what I've done before is that I created a requirement document let's say so and I'm going to give the AI much more context yeah so, hey sorry for the break today I would like to thank you ShiftSync for being the main sponsor of today's video. Are you tired of feeling isolated in your work as a tester, developer or DevOps specialist? You want to be part of a community that is passionate about innovation, collaboration and cutting edge technology? Look no further than ShiftSync. The goal of ShiftSync is to create a dynamic and engaging space for developers, testers and industry leaders to share knowledge and grow professionally. Quality is more than testing and such sharing with collaboration will help improve the software development lifecycle on every stage. In the main video, I'm talking about AI and how you can use it as a software tester. In March 2024, I did a webinar about AI and its feature at the ShiftSync community. In case you have missed the webinar, check the link in the video description below to get free access to the webinar recording. Please note that you have to be registered and logged in to watch the recap video, but the sign up is for free. The title of my webinar was Unleashing the Power of AI and Software Testing. In the webinar I talked about what is AI all about, 
how can testers benefit from AI, where does AI harm software testers, and what are the latest AI features that boost software testers' productivity. At the end of the webinar, I answered many of the community questions. So make sure to follow the link down below to the Shifts in Community. Sign up for free today to see my webinar and many others from different experts from the community. See you and now back to the main video. So and this is how, oops, this is how the software or the, the, the prompt looks like. So as you can see here, it says, you're a software tester for a company with an e-commerce shop called Super job. Hey, really creative, right? <laughs> Your task is it to write test cases for the following requirement. Please write test cases in the following format in a table, number, title, description steps, expected results, and with example test data should be used for each test case. And then we have a requirements document. It can be a requirements document, it can be like acceptance criteria, you have whatever is, is required for your context basically. And as you can see, I give like a little introduction like, hey, what's the purpose? The purpose of this document is to outline the function and non-function requirements for the development of the web login page. The scope, what we, we have in scope for this one. Uh, we have some functional requirements like user authentication, user registration, account management, security session management. You can see it on the screen. And this is the prompt that I'm going to enter right now. So I'm just copy paste, pasting it using this one. And uh, let's create a new chat just to be sure that we don't have the previous conversation. And we just copy paste everything in here. Yeah. And then we hit the enter. And this is now what ChatGPT is doing. See before that, and now we're getting a list in in a pre-formatted table, as we would, uh, as I just told the AI system to do. And so it's still generating in the format that I was telling the AI to do, right? And you can already see that the result is much better than the previous one sentence prompt that I put in, like give me test cases for login window. Uh, so it's still generating now. Before I think we, before we had twelve test cases. Now it is 15 and maybe let's see how many test cases it's going to create. Now we're at 17 already, 18, 19, 20, maybe it's even, there is even more coming. So basically it, it now goes through all the requirements that are listed down below and now we have 22 test cases. So let's take a look at the, at the very first one. So as you can see here, we have the title, it's called number title, the things that I gave the, the AI as a, as a prompt. And we have the first test case basically for user authentication. So we have a little description. The login page should provide a secure and reliable authentication me mechanism. And then it says open the super shop login page. It would have been much better requirement in case you give like specific URLs. And then it says the login page is displayed. That's no example test data needed. So just to see that this, the, the login page is visible. In the second test, we can already see that we have a username and password as test data ideas. The same here. We have a registered email address. We have something with a um, user registration. So you get example data and so forth and so forth. And you can already see that it's much better in terms of the output. And that's what I meant before, garbage in, garbage out. The better you write the prompts and the more time you need for uh, writing and defining your requirement or the prompt that you would like to use with an AI system, the better the results are. And of course, as a disclaimer, I mean, the moment something is coming out of an AI system, take your time and really read through all the test cases because there might be some wrong answers still in there. Also, if your requirements document is pretty good. Yeah. So as you can see here, we now have, uh, let's say, a good list of test cases. And now what we can do in the next obvious step is, hey, Let's write a test code for it, right? I mean, of course, in the beginning, like the, on the example before, if I would use now like a prompt saying, okay, let's write the tests in, 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 in an automated script, that would be done uh, by HHGPT. But now what we can do here is we can do like, we can write a prompt. Uh, now, please write for the 22 test cases, the automated scripts. Please write oops, the test automation code in TypeScript using or not using for the tool or uh, playwright. Play right. And then we execute it. Now you can see 
it's using the previous conversation as we have we had before and now it's using TypeScript and writing a playwright um, script for us. So that's cool. So we can see already here it's annotating or like adding a comment for test case one, test case two, test case three and so forth and so forth. Now it's note the provided script are basic examples. Okay it's not writing all the stuff that I have to, uh, that I told the, um, the, the AI before but you can get an idea like how the, the structure of the, um, the AI output can be and it says okay it repeats similar structure for other test cases so it was just you know, safe in resources because it has a similar structure. Like, I mean, open the super shop and login page. We are going to provide, oops, on top of this. So yeah, there it assumes like supershop.com slash login. And then it says, okay, uh, also like the the, um, the page objects, not the page objects, but the identifier to, to interact with the web page is something that is made up by the AI. So this is also something that you can do and should check. But it can show you already like, hey, this is something that I can do with Playwright. And now we can do like, okay, now um, migrate this code to Selenium with Java. Let's write like this. Now it's doing the same thing. Now it's replacing the, the Playwright code with a Selenium web driver in, in Java. And you can see like how fast it is and how easy it is to now migrate things from language A to language B. But I bet you have seen it already. So, but just the, the thing that I would like to, to tell you in that video basically is the, the garbage in garbage out topic, right? So the better your prompt are the better the output is as well so and it's also sometimes good to to give the AI a little context like what what are you doing what, what is the industry you're working in like what is the real the, the focus like functional non-functional testing and so forth and I hope this example uh, helped you to show or like to see how you can use AI already um, without being integrated in any tools. I mean, check my videos in my, on my YouTube channel already down below. I have um, a lot of examples from tool manufacturers who are, who are integrating ChatGPT in their products in a pretty good way, like from code explanation, test case generation, test code generation, and stuff like that. And it's also what I noticed over on that tools is the same thing, garbage in, garbage out. The better the input, the better the output. And yeah, I hope that video, that the hands-on video helped you a bit to get an idea in case you're using an LLM, no matter what it is, is being at OpenAI, Gemini or whatever, think about the prompts before. Yeah, think about them, like what are you would like to describe with it and then put it into the LLM. But again, disclaimer, check the output if it's really the truth or if the AI is not, uh, is hallucinating and giving you wrong answers. So this this might be a bad thing, right? Yeah, and that's it for today already, like a, a quicker video for, for you today, but a hands-on with AI. Let me know what have you experienced with AI in terms of prompting, prompt engineering, and I could also see that prompt engineering is becoming a big topic, and I think it's a really, really important skill that we need as software testers in our futures to use the prompts, the AIs to help us in getting better in our day-to-day -day jobs. So if you would like to learn a new skill in 2024, I would say check out prompt engineering and learn all about it. And use ChatGPT as an example to experiment with garbage in, garbage out. And with that, thanks for coming by. As always, like it, share it and subscribe it. Thanks for coming by. Have a great day. Bye-bye.